Ranger 8 was a lunar probe in the Ranger program, a robotic spacecraft series launched by NASA in the early to mid-1960s to obtain the first close-up images of the Moon's surface. These pictures helped select landing sites for Apollo missions and were used for scientific study. During its 1965 mission, Ranger 8 transmitted 7,137 lunar surface photographs before it crashed into the Moon as planned. This was the second successful mission in the Ranger series, following Ranger 7. Ranger 8's design and purpose were very similar to those of Ranger 7. It had six television Viticon cameras, two full scan and four partial scan. Its sole purpose was to document the Moon's surface. Topic. Spacecraft design Topic. General Ranger spacecraft were originally designed, beginning in 1959, in three distinct phases called blocks. Rangers 6, 7, 8, and 9 were the Block 3 versions. The spacecraft consisted of a hexagonal aluminum frame base 1.5 meters across on which was mounted the propulsion and power units, topped by a truncated conical tower that held the television cameras. Two solar panel wings, each 739 mm wide by 1,537 mm long, extended from opposite edges of the base with a full span of 4.6 meters, and a pointable high-gain dish antenna was hinge-mounted at one of the corners of the base away from the solar panels. A cylindrical quasi-omnidirectional antenna was seated on top of the conical tower. The overall height of the spacecraft was 3.6 meters. Propulsion for the mid-course trajectory correction was provided by a 224N thrust monopropellant hydrazine engine with four jet vane vector control. Orientation and attitude control about three axes was enabled by 12 nitrogen gas jets coupled to a system of three gyroscopes, four primary sun sensors, two secondary sun sensors, and an earth sensor. Power was supplied by 9,792 silicon solar cells contained in the two solar panels, giving a total array area of 2.3 square meters and producing 200 W2 1200 watt hour AGZNO batteries rated at 26.5 volts with a capacity for 9 hours of operation provided power to each of the separate communication, TV camera chains. Two 1000 watt hour AGZNO batteries stored power for spacecraft operations. Topic. Cameras The spacecraft carried six television Viticon cameras two wide angle channel F, cameras A and B, and four narrow angle channel P to accomplish these objectives. The cameras were arranged in two separate chains, or channels, each was self contained with separate power supplies, timers, and transmitters, to afford the greatest reliability and probability of obtaining high quality television pictures. No other experiments were carried on the spacecraft. Topic. Communications Communications were through the quasi-omnidirectional low-gain antenna and the parabolic high-gain antenna. Transmitters aboard the spacecraft included a 60-watt television channel F at 959.52 MHz, a 60-watt television channel P at 960.05 MHz, and a 3-watt transponder channel 8 at 960.58 MHz. The telecommunications equipment converted the composite video signal from the camera transmitters into a radio frequency signal for subsequent transmission through the spacecraft's high-gain antenna. Sufficient video bandwidth was provided to allow for rapid framing sequences of both narrow and wide-angle television pictures. Topic. Mission profile The Atlas 196D and Agena B6006 boosters performed nominally, injecting the Agena and Ranger 8 into an Earth parking orbit at 185 km altitude after launch. Fourteen minutes later a 90-second burn of the Agena put the spacecraft into lunar transfer trajectory, and several minutes later the Ranger and Agena separated. The Ranger solar panels were deployed, attitude control activated, and spacecraft transmission switched from the omniantenna to the high-gain antenna by 2130 UT. On February 18, at a distance of 160,000 km from Earth, the planned mid-course maneuver took place, involving reorientation and a 59-second rocket burn. 
During the 27-minute maneuver, spacecraft transmitter power dropped severely, so that lock was lost on all telemetry channels. This continued intermittently until the rocket burn ended, at which time power returned to normal. The telemetry dropout had no serious effects on the mission. A planned terminal sequence to point the cameras more in the direction of flight just before reaching the Moon was cancelled to allow the cameras to cover a greater area of the Moon's surface. Ranger 8 reached the Moon on February 20, 1965. The first image was taken at 9 hours 34 minutes and 32 seconds UT at an altitude of 2,510 km. Transmission of 7,137 photographs of good quality occurred over the final 23 minutes of flight. The final image taken before impact has a resolution of 1.5 meters. The spacecraft encountered the lunar surface in a direct hyperbolic trajectory, with incoming asymptotic direction at an angle of minus 13.6 degrees from the lunar equator. The orbit plane was inclined 16.5 degrees to the lunar equator. After 64.9 hours of flight, impact occurred at 9 hours 57 minutes and 36 seconds. 756 UT on February 20, 1965, in Mare Tranquilitatis at approximately 2.67 degrees north, 24.65 degrees east. The impact site is listed as about 2.72 degrees north, 24.61 degrees east in the initial report. Ranger 8 photographs of the Moon. Impact velocity was slightly less than 2.68 km per second, approximately 6,000 miles per hour. The spacecraft performance was excellent. The impact crater of Ranger 8, approximately 13.5 m wide, was later photographed by Lunar Orbiter 4. See also List of artificial objects on the Moon Timeline of Solar System Exploration Topic. References This article incorporates public domain material from the National Aeronautics and Space Administration document, Ranger 8. Topic. External links Lunar Impact, A History of Project Ranger PDF, 1977 Photographs from Ranger 8 Video from Ranger 8 This article incorporates public domain material from websites or documents of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration.